welcome or welcome back to my channel this is Hawaii Mom Budgets and today I will be um, unstuffing my variables binder and see how much I spent I did not really spend anything this past few weeks and so I've been really good I will be going um, on a mini trip tomorrow and so I wanted to get my unstuffing done and I also want to restuff my variables and I will be um, depleting my vacation envelope. So stick around till the end and see what, um, how much I spent and how much I'll be stuffing in my variables. If you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. Um, Please don't forget to subscribe and follow my journey as I have a lot of goals this year. And so, yeah, um, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you. Thank you so much for always tuning in. All right, so let's take a look at, let's take a look at my expenses. So as you can see, I didn't spend anything much ending of December. I did spend quite a few first week of January. Let's get started on the unstuffing. So grocery, I spent $52. And I think that was just for um, like last minute grocery stuff. It's not my, my big grocery haul. I usually do all my big grocery hauls at Costco and that has a separate fund for it. So I'm only stuffing my budget money that's that's a buffer from our checking account. I take it out and I stuff it in here. I leave all my bills and all our large expenses in our joint checkings account and it all comes out from there. So spending didn't get anything. So groceries, as you can see, I said we spent $52 and it's highlighted pink. So that means I used my expense credit card. So we are going to Okay, so we are going to take out 52. So 20, 40, 50 and any change. So let's who has change here. Let's grab change from kids. So kids, I'm taking out five. One, two, three, four. So I'm taking out five from kids because I need change. Coffee, I used my expense credit card. So let's see, coffee and I need a change. So I'm going to take 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm going to take 20 out of here, put 20 there. 5, 10, 15, 20. And I'm going to take out two tens, putting $10 back to our credit card because we used that. Okay, so eating out, eat out. I spent cash, so I spent $6 at Costco at the food court. Um, and then I also spent $18 at Fork and Solid, but I, I used cash for that. So I will be scanning, I will leave the receipt in there and I will be taking out um, what's left over. So what's left over is one, two, three, four, five, and $6. All right, so next we have miscellaneous. Miscellaneous did not get spent. Wait, what is this? Oh my goodness. Honestly, my coffee hasn't kicked in because look, there I spent $12 in miscellaneous. So miscellaneous has $8 left, okay? Oh my God, $12. So I spent $12 in miscellaneous. So I'm taking out 12 and I'm putting it back in my credit card. So 5, 10, 11, 12. And that is for the miscellaneous. And I can go ahead and check that off. And it goes back and 
into my card. Okay, so I unstuffed all my envelopes and now they are ready to be restuffed. Um, I will do that in a bit. But I wanted to count my rollovers. So let's see how much I didn't spend. Okay, so I have about 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. I have 92 left. So usually I like to update my budget overview. So let me see, let me grab my actual is $92. I should have $92 left in my budget. And this is it right here. So 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 80, 89, 90, 91, 92. So now that my budget overview is completed, I have this $92 left. Um, I usually roll it over into my rollovers binder. so this is how i normally would do my cash budget um so that i can break it down and see exactly how much i have to pay back to my card so like i said i am a cash stuffer and a credit card user i utilize my credit cards um, as well as the cash envelope system because I want to maximize my cash back rewards and If you watched, you know my whole video from beginning to now you You seen that I unstuff the cash that I used and I put it back in my card um, in my card envelope and this right here is going back to the bank to pay off my card that I used. And this is what I mean by I have the funds already to um, pay back my card because I use the cash envelope system to budget my variables. I use my card, I get rewards for using my card. Then I take out the money from my envelopes and I put it in my card envelope here so that I know that it this is to pay back the card then I pay off my card in full whenever the statement is due so I don't pay any interest so that's how I do that alrighty so thank you all again for tuning in and joining stay tuned for my next video which is my cash stuffing video that i will be stuffing into my variables i will be going on a trip tomorrow so that's going to be on a separate video so be on a lookout for that cash stuffing video it'll come out shortly